Hey everyone, welcome. Let's learn something new today. We're gonna to be creating the end roll credits for a movie. You created an awesome project. Let's create those credits at the end to make it look official. So let's jump into Premiere Pro, grab that coffee, and let's get learning. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look right here. We have a black video. It's very easy, right click, new item, black video, right like so. Drag and drop it on and we're ready to go. We're gonna to go to this text tool right here, click on it, and we're going to just insert some text. I have gone ahead and done a random name generator. We're gonna place it wherever we want to. We're then going to make sure we have the essential graphics pane open up on the right side. To do that, we're gonna go up to window and then down to essential graphics. We wanna click on our text and let's just go ahead and make sure it's the same size as our black video right here. We're then going to go over and we're gonna go down into the, or over to the edit button. And inside the text, what we wanna do is we wanna make sure that we click on it and we go to the main area. So don't, don't double click where you're actually on the text itself. You wanna be unclicked on anything. So sometimes you have to click on it once more. We then go and we click this roll button. What this roll does is it gives us a couple of settings where we can start off screen, end off screen, and it's gonna control the motion from this point on. What if you wanna slow it down? Well, the only way that you can really slow this down is to make it longer. Makes sense in the fact that there is only a limited amount of time and space to get through this. So. If you slow it down a little bit, you can see that, or if you expand it a little bit, you can see that it slows down a little bit, just like so. And that is it. That's really the, the quickest and easiest way. There's a couple of options in here where you can sort of soften it, where it'll try to make it a little easier. You can add a pre-roll, a post-roll, you can ease it in, ease it out. But the basis of this is copy, paste, go ahead and click that roll button, and then you have all your options to manipulate it. So there we go. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, throw them in the comment section below. If you like this video, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next one.